All right, what you see here is a Hunter low profile ceiling fan in 42 inches. This is a white motored version from the late 90s or 2000s. This is like what they would do with them. A specific one is from 2001. As you can see, it has a white motor. And I got this fan from Brand C. Johnson about a year ago. In a way, this is kind of like the first fan I'm actually testing down here. The end competition wasn't really a fan I was I had up for testing purposes. It was actually it was more for just I can use a fan down here. This fan, however, is probably gonna be the, my next permanent basement fan because the end competition is just too loud. It hums a lot. This fan's nice and quiet. I can't hear it from upstairs, so I'm probably gonna stick with this one. Or the Minka Airy Mesa, but it's probably gonna be this one since this one probably will be a better one and such. The Minka Airy Mesa might have the same issue as the Ancon, that's the only thing I'm afraid of, so. But for now, I'm sticking with this. But um, yeah, the fan is from 2001. This is one of the two 42 inch low profiles I have. I have another one that's actually even older than this one from Mark Wilson. That one was from either 98 or 99, I one of the two, but the black motored version. So um, yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to be testing that one down here as well, but we'll see what happens. But um, I'd rather use this one down here as a basement fan than the black motored one because this one's never been used. The other one was in Mark's bedroom for since like the late 2000s or early 2000s up until like 2013, something like that, or 2014. This one's never really been used. I'd rather give this one a chance to be used and such. you am showing the white blades on it right now. Just finished showing you off the bleach oak blades, so I'm going to upload this video first. And actually, I'm going to be keeping off the white blades, that's why I figured I'd draw up the bleach oak blade side first. Because I'd rather have this fan get, be all white so it's more noticeable, and also, I kind of like this, I actually want to see how dusty this fan gets after a while of being used 24-7. Kind of like what I wanted to do with the icon, but that fan was just too wild, so I, I just figured, you know what, just put up something quieter and start over. Because there's a lot of places that had 42 inch fans or small fan, generic white looking fans like like this one. Of course this one isn't. Like the Mickey Airy down there, that's definitely a um, generic fan and the um, Anacom But I always see like, I would always see those type of fans like in like Walmart or like just regular stores, convenience stores. And it would always be like pretty dusty. So kind of basically like a childhood memory. So I'm kind of basically going to do the same thing with this fan. Of course I'll keep an eye on it. But since these ways are actually... Real wood blades, unlike the uncompetitive blades, these I think will hold up a lot better. And I am going to be putting the pull chain from the, um, what was it, the Minka Air Mesa on this afterwards, but since this is how they would come out of box, I figured I'd leave it like that for the video. So let's go ahead and start off on no speed. Now, I actually prefer that it has a white motor if I'm using it down in the basement because it kind of gives it more like a fan. And also, just looks like a fan that you'd see in a laundry mat from like the late 90s, early 2000s. That's just the look that this fan gives. Well, that's just the look that it has, in my opinion. Or one that you'd see in somebody's house as well. In a laundry room. I just feel like the all white look kind of gives that look to it. And such. But at the same time, I kind of figured I, if I'm going to have two little profiles up, I'd rather have one of them. With white blades and one of them with the bleach oak blades, well, pickled oak blades. But, um, so I figured this will be the one that has a white blade since I do not want to have white blades on my bedroom fan. I'd rather have that one have a bit of a contrast. This one is that's up right here. It's not really for appearances, it's just for to do the job. So I figured if it's if I just need to do the job, I would just put it with white blades. But it does a good job on no speed. The Ancon did move more air on high speed, I will be honest. Like, the breeze that it would push down was stronger, but this one does spread more air around the basement, so this one, in a way, is actually better. Go ahead and move the fan up to medium. This one, I know the Uncommon was wild. It was it moved good air, but like, like from underneath it, I do feel better breeze from the Uncommon, but this one has a larger weight span, so this will be a better one, basically. Doesn't go jump on medium. But same time this means dead silence, so won't be an issue with using this one 24-7. Alright, now for high speed. So 
So the thing I'm a big fan of testing down here is so I put wool in my mom's bedroom. Wait, okay, this thing actually I can feel more air from I do feel more air from around the whole entire room, but again kinda of just straight underneath it, it was just a bit of a stronger breeze, but I know for a fact this fan's definitely better. In a way, sometimes I feel like this one's stronger, but it just depends how humid it is. When I first came down here, it was pretty hot and humid. Now that I left both of these fans running for a bit, well, I'll put the um, dirt crap on high speed, so it's cooled down a bit, down quite a bit down here. The fan definitely does move a good amount of air. So yeah, it's definitely gonna be a permanent. Probably gonna be the permanent basement fan, to be honest. How um, what I'll probably just be doing now is um. Take it down for when I'm testing out a fan, and now just put it back up and such. Yeah, it moves good air though. I don't need something that moves a ton of air, I need something that moves that does a job, and this fan will definitely do the job. Let's do a spin down. Since the bearings have broken in since I've left it on for a few days now, it should definitely have a better spin down on it. Or a longer one. But yeah, the weighting's not too good down here. That's kind of one thing I've always never really thought wanted to do with our tested fans down here. Well, that's kind of one reason why I wasn't too thrilled about possibly making this a te permanent testing area. So I've decided that if I'm going to test fans on it, it can only be fans that can't be floor tested, and this is one of them. So, um, yeah. Not sure what I'm going to be testing next, but um, we'll see what, what's the next one that's on the list. But, um, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos to come.